today uh, we are going to start about uh, sap data sphere training mm -hmm. so uh, i will initially i will provide some introduction about data sphere and then we will see you know how can we get the trial version of sap data uh, sap data sphere uh, to do our uh, practice okay so starting with the one what is sap data sphere Okay, SAP provides two industry leading data warehousing technologies to enable the intelligent enterprise. Means SAP now latest, you know, it is providing two data warehousing technologies. One is data sphere, now this one, which is completely based upon cloud platform. Okay, this data sphere is a cloud based uh, tool. And the other one is, you know, SAP BW4 HANA. When coming to SAP B4 HANA, it, is, it can be, you know, worked on on premise as well as the private cloud deployment. So both it supports. So these are the SAP's now leading data warehousing technologies. Okay. Now the next part is coming introduction to the um, data, this data, the data sphere, the earlier version of, you know, data sphere, they call it as data warehouse cloud. So they renamed this data warehouse cloud to the data sphere recently. Okay, on 2023 March. So the data warehouse clause was initially released in SAP in 2019. So it's not a very new tool in the market. It is there from the past, but you know, this tool was not uh, too much uh, used by the clients. But SAP evolving this tool, you know, little by little, now it is in a full-fledged, you know, SAP promoting this tool uh, in a um, high, high push on top of B BW4 HANA, okay? So the next point is DWC is a data warehouse cloud solution which enables user groups to create their own analytical applications in a quick and agile way. So this DWC, our data sphere, we call any, any way we can, call, we, as of now we are calling as data sphere, which enables user groups to create their own analytical applications, means SAP designed this data warehouse cloud solution in a such a way like not only technical team can build solutions and the users will, you know, use, consume the solution. Apart from that, users itself can build something on the tool directly it is so much flexible okay so in such a way sap designed this tool and uh, using this sap data warehouse cloud allows to cover data coming from sap as of you know data is in the form multiple ways right so we have sap data and at the same time data is coming from third party solutions also like you know oracle or some other tools and all big data and all it's now sap can consume data uh, this data warehouse cloud can consume data not only from the sap tools but also from the third party on premise and cloud environments into a single fully managed cloud environment into this DWC. So all these are different kind of connections SAP pro providing to connect to this uh, SAP data sphere, we will see <coughs> in the coming sessions, sorry. Now, as I said, SAP renamed this, uh, as, uh, this DWC data warehouse cloud into data sphere on 8th of March, 2023. Okay, these are the, some of the introduction points of it. Now, what exactly SAP Data Sphere provides to us? So, why we need to, you know, clients can go into this Data Sphere? What exactly it is giving benefits? So, SAP Data Sphere provides a secure environment. Okay, like our SSC Cloud and all other tools, so SAP Data and before HANA, where we have authorizations and every part. This is also a, a cloud-based tool which provides, a, you know, secure environment for users. To, you know, to use the real-time analyticals and also connections to a wide variety of clouds and on-premise sources. So SAP provides a variety of connections, you know, various connections to different source systems to bring data from there into this uh, data sphere and, you know, and do modeling on top of it. So spaces is one of the concept in data sphere, uh, you know, by using, um, on each space we do a modeling. It provides security also, and it has powerful, uh, powerful built-in SQL and data flow editors, uh, along with support for third-party SQL tools and as IDS. All these we will see at uh, in the technical, you know, training session. Uh, how how SQL we need to use and all. Okay. It also provides a provision of SAP and partner business content to support end-to-end -end business scenarios. So when you are learning something on data sphere, so you can create your own models. At the same time, you can, you know, already from content in BW, SAP BW, how we have a content-based thing. Here also we have some content available, uh, which you can use it. 
okay graphical low code and no code tools you see graphical low code and no code tools to support self service modeling needs as i said so we can do modeling without any coding also here so even end users also can do their own kind of reporting uh, on top of this tool uh, but there is a need of technical team where they can provide base data availability to the business users once data is available to the business users they can create their own models okay and we all this we will be discussed in coming uh, sessions business semantic modeling separates from physical data storage as i said te technical team will provide physical you know data to the uh, end users once data is available to the end users then they can consume the data and they can create their own models on this business semantic modeling layer okay and agile blending of central governed sources with local files and external sources even we can if we want like we can load data from our flat files also into this uh, data sphere reuse and migration of trusted and governed because uh, governed metadata models residing in on premise for example a customer who is having already you know established sap bw system or sap b4 hana system now if they want to migrate to data sphere they no need to move entire data also into the data sphere okay they can consume their models still in data sphere and do reporting on top of you know using sse so it's not a there is no need you know to you know to completely uh, discard the existing bw system and go for data sphere still they can use consume all the existing models in bw into the data sphere by using different connections given by this uh, sap cross space collaboration and data sharing so space is one kind of concept which is introduced in data sphere which will be covered in the coming sessions then you will understand this uh, what is a cross uh, space you know collaboration and data sharing seamless integration with sap analytics cloud uh, what is happening data sphere is a analytical you know it's a business warehouse solution where we can model the data but for reporting purpose sap is giving sac we are using sac tool as a reporting tool on top of this data warehouse cloud or sap data sphere so going to the architecture so um, you know uh, this architecture is you know picture taken from sap side so if you see this architecture you can understand a little bit integrate data so as i said we can integrate data from multiple sources into this data sphere so if you see this here uh, you know picture on the left hand side uh, we can bring data from non sap sources partner tools and sap and cloud and on premise all these are different categories and sources and if you see on the connection types sap currently providing 31 different type of connections to integrate data into this data sphere okay so on the architectural diagram on the right hand side if we see um, source systems and databases we can connect to the uh, data sphere and we can bring data from flat files into this uh, data sphere and partner tools etls so this is the architecture diagram which uh, um, exactly explaining the same concept you know which i explained now even from sap hana data lake also we can bring data into our sap data sphere so this is a uh, you know one part of the architecture the second section is you know acquire and prepare data so once we establish the connection to the sap data sphere so what we do next we will bring data from uh, source systems into our data sphere so how we can acquire data so how data stores in sap da data sphere it will be stored in the form of tables okay it can be formed in the form of uh, physical tables or remote tables you know low, and uh, view or intelligent lookups these are different tools given by the sap sap in the data sphere under the data builder so data builder is a section where we where we create data and like we load data and model the data that can be consumed by the business users okay so in sap data sphere we have mainly two sections one is data builder and another one is business builder so data builder is the staging layer where we store data and we model the data and business builder is the place where we consume the data and create a analytical applications and the consumption data mainly happen using sse tool or other tools so modeling data as i said so for physical storage we use tables and on top of tables we create some uh, models in the data builder place so if you see new analytical model and uh, you know relationship model these are the two different models we can create on the data builder side going to the next side business slider so what is exactly this business slider business builder sorry 
in the business builder i can create different uh, you know uh, you see here we can create dimensions new analytical data set new fact models and new consumption models so once data once the data availability available at data builder level now even users also can directly go and create their own models in the business builder it is so user friendly and uh, it's easy no need of any technical you know knowledge to do this kind of things so that's why it is uh, more flexible the next one is consume consumption so once we have business models available for consumption then we can consume it uh, either using sap analytics cloud or you can consume it from sap ms excel add-in or different apps and bi clients or even open sql cmos also can be using these exposed data we can expose our data using these uh, things and finally consumed by different applications okay now this is a little bit introduction about uh, sap data sphere now what we are going to do is uh, now we are i will show you um, <coughs> how um, how to get you know free access to this sap data sphere for your our own knowledge okay so in sap home portal under sap data sphere here in the experience sap for data sphere for free section click on this link so it will ask for to agree and proceed terms and conditions then click on this experience sap data sphere so here you need to provide your credentials you need to provide your company email address and first name last name and fill all these details and click on uh, you know submit once you click on submit what will happen you will get a email communication email to your uh, mailbox so once you accept activate the your account using that link then sap will provide you the credentials to log into the sap data sphere so in the same way i also created my own account in uh, sac uh, sap data sphere and this was so this was my account i created one five free trial so it's for 30 days so <coughs> once we logged in we will get screen in this way so this is the home screen of our sap data sphere okay here we have different options and all these options will will be discussed in coming sessions okay thank you for listening thank you bye